So with that, so with, ladies and gentlemen, we will get started. Many of you know me from the community stuff we try to do. Community stuff we try to do. I was hit by a drunk driver and they thought I was like, by the doctor said I wouldn't make it. Uh, less than 50 odds. My dad, dad called, talked to my son and said no. And so that's when they, it was a bad situation. That was back when I was 19, uh, four or five years later now, or a little bit more. <laughs> but uh, I proved the doctors wrong. As they said at that point, they didn't tell me this so many years later. My dad kept this information from me, which was a good thing. But they said I would probably have to take care of me for the rest of my life. So that's where I do a lot of this fun stuff, uh, the community stuff we do with the Cardinal Cowboy to try to inspire and uh, help business <laughs> individuals organizations, charities, and kids all over different schools and organizations. Um, I work with the Covenant House as, as their speaker to help those guys. So this is my real passion. And, you know, after I, I realized what I went through, my real passion came, uh, I figured out I'd better realize I can to help as many people because I had a lot of support to help me came back from that. You kind of prove what you really can do despite what the experts and doctors may be telling uh, in terms of expectations and psychiatrists and all that kind of stuff. So. Um, through all that, and by now, that's that's my passion. That's what I do. So, so uh, with that, I'm going to share with you a little yeah, bit about what the company is and what we've developed now, and, and I'm working with some charities on it. And that's why the presentation was done today by the Rotary Club to uh, help them promote an auction they're going to do, and we'll show you how this kind of evolved. I used to work for a small brewery uh, based out of St. Louis, and they had major cutbacks. I ran the email systems for them. We would send out about 50 million emails in about three hours to the servers that I maintain. And uh, that was my job as, as a matter of there for some of the stuff I did. I also had about 6,000 corporate clustered email server for my 2,000 user server. The independent servers, I was messed up with those. I was a guy up until 2, 3, 5, 6 in the morning, a couple times, uh, making sure that those were functional. Um, when people can't do their email, a big corporation, that can stop a company. So here I am along the way. Uh, another uh, organization reached out to me. Said I'd been nominated for uh, helping sports in St. Louis, and so that kind of prompted me to do some research. I found out that they had actually given uh, their uh, St. Louis Sports Supporter of the Year award last year to a young a young lady, y'all know, by the name of Jackie Joyner Kersey. And then this last year, they gave it to me. The, the year after, they gave that to her. So I thought, well, this is kind of important. I'm going to do some research. Find out statistically, the the, the majority of people who go through a coma, it was hard to research for me being one that went through one, uh, the people who go through a coma don't recover. It's a little bit to do with the trauma. I had major major frontal lobe executive skills, what those of you seen me personally, uh, or in, 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 live and in, in person have seen pretty good scar across my forehead. The cowboy hat set up to a certain extent, and that's not why I wear it, but the cowboy hat kind of uh, um, represents what I like to present that, you know, you set your mind to do anything, you can do it, there's no doubt, go for it. And, uh, the goals and dreams that you have are are absolutely possible as long as you just persist. So with that, I'll show you how we do our in, internet marketing stuff. So went off to work for Google's sales partner company at the time, Google's largest partner, uh, became one of the top guys in that company of 55 cities, about 550 agents, and quickly realized I could, I thought I could do this better on my own. Uh, and then started my own company, and that's where I've been for about the last. Uh, that was 2011. So. Uh, long time success been going, but if you make it five or six years, ten years, that's what you're hoping for, right? But here we are um, doing doing pretty well, and we've done campaigns now with Google Pay Per Click. Uh, you see a lot of SEO stuff, content, but the social media stuff is really where we've decided to focus. We've had accounts where clients spent one hundred and twenty thousand dollars a month with me um, to manage the Google, that was for Google AdWords. Uh, but my my sweet spot, what I enjoy most is helping small business. That's what this social media product is is geared to. So with that, I'll start with you our presentation, and I can uh, do that with my remote button here, and we'll go ahead and get that presentation up in front of here. So I'm going to walk up to the computer to do that, and here it is. And there it is. Let me go back to our to our slide. There we go. So got this set up now, uh, and I can control this remotely. So 
Got this set up now. This is a full blown keyboard and mouse. So as of January, as of January, two months ago, over seven point three billion, almost seven four billion people in the United States. I'm sorry, in the world, about three hundred thirty million in the United States. Um, if you see about four billion people are in uh, active social media users is about two point three billion. Uh, we're up to three point seven billion unique mobile users. And of those unique mobile users, you've got about one point nine million a billion that are on active mobile social networks. Uh, active mobile social users. So with that, you can see this thing's growing, this thing, uh, this internet thing, as I like to say, is catching on. So how many people now do know, if, for instance, we work on new film, but uh, being from St. Louis, and you know, a lot of people I know that I work with from St. Louis, here's this demographic breakdown. And this shows the St. Louis metro area population. The actual city itself is not incorporated surrounding areas. A few other cities in the United States have done that. But you can see we've got about 2.8 million people in this area, about 46% of users on the internet and social media users are about uh, 31 of that estimated back when these stats came out. Um, this is 2000 to 2010, uh, but we're at 2016 now, and that is obviously that's the most recent data we've seen. Search on the internet is, is a big piece, uh, but a lot of people like to share their stuff, and that's where social media really comes in. So year to year, desktops are now down because more people are going to mobile devices, but there's still a 56% of the users use desktops. We're up to about 39% of people now using mobile devices, and some people say that's just about match. It kind of depends on what part of the country. That's the amount of people using about 39% mobile device. People now, um, then tablets, about 5%, now it's growing, about 5%. And then gaming devices. And gaming devices. Your stuff on the so, uh, but a very small percentage of people doing that. So, I'm going to click here. There we go. Here are uh, active users by social platform. Facebook number one, about 1.6 billion in January 2016. Uh, what? I didn't really understand what to in order to work with a lot of using communicate. There's this texting, you do phone calls through it, it's kind of an all, and it's actually owned by Facebook. Uh, then you go on down, OO, Facebook Messenger, Ozone, and then you can see some of the others. Instagram is now passed by Twitter, Skype, Skype, which is owned by Microsoft. And a lot of this is where it's at, ladies and gentlemen, the social media platform, the people that are out there using it. Product that we all have is guaranteed automated intelligent, intelligent traffic that we know. So we can guarantee how many people are going to see what it is publishing, publishing for you. It's a numbers game based on what we've learned we can do through social media in, in a more of a non-traditional, the traditional stuff we'll talk about, and then the way we found that it's just very popular is realizing that people are doing this themselves, but the small business person really needs to do this because they may not be the same. There's a big market out there for people that can help people do what we're talking about here. And we've automated made that. And we've Easy to do. We follow all the rules because there's all kinds of guidelines you can stay with, and we'll talk about how you do that. But it's guaranteed traffic that we bring to your website. The actual social media outlets a lot of people are very familiar with that we can do this with are Facebook, Google Plus, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, and Instagram. All are huge to do this. Uh, Facebook being primary, uh, it's kind of a toss up number for Google Plus and LinkedIn and Pinterest a little bit, but Instagram has really grown quite a bit most recently. Here's a snapshot of what you can see we have done with the export. This is our tool we've developed. Uh, we partnered with the company and then we kind of made this our own. But you can see we did a search that was unique uh, for the users that you see here. And there are just this is 499 groups that it has found. So groups are a big target because now you don't have to worry about your fan page. You've got 300 likes, 1,000 likes, even 10,000 likes. You've done well. But that's the same audience targeting over and over again. The groups by now have become instrumental. There's about 260 million groups in, indexed by Google. Uh, Google had $75 billion in revenue last year. Facebook is closing to matching it this year. They might tie them and look at the trends where they're at. But Facebook now with this uh, opportunity to watch it to get messages in the groups. They know how to do it. One post a day, got a couple of 
a profile. Fan pages can't post to the, uh, to the groups. They can only publish on their own fan page. But your profile can do it. We show you. We help you manage to do that. So there's a list of groups we've got. Um, you saw the average group there. I'm going to go back one. And these groups we have, you can see 6,400, 8,300, 25,000, 5,000, 5,700, 7,000. These groups are very large. Imagine getting one fan page over 5,000 people. Oh, I can do that with just one group. And now you do have 499 groups in this list that we uh, done of our, just our initial search through some of the keywords we decided to search for uh, relative to the city we've already gone. You can decide how many times you want to post at most, generally two a day, or usually one a day, and you can time how what time frame those two posts will come out, how often, and what date they will be um, available here between 8 a.m. or what time during the day, uh, 8, to, till 8 a.m. till 9, 10 p.m. And then you go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. You can uncheck what days you don't want these to go and schedule specific posts to go on specific days. Here's a sample of our own campaign. We do this for clients. Sample of our own share posts. But you can see these, these posts are coordinated, coordinated, ready to go. And they come out from our server, which is connected to a cloud server. Your machine goes down, your laptop goes down, your desktop goes down. This is the integration of those regardless. We love the way we can uh, continue to post in 24 hours a day if we like. Some of the results we're already through this. We're going to get signed. This was a three day quick campaign to give a test to one of our clients, and we generated 421 clicks just on the post. We can track the front end if you have access to the Google Analytics and the back end. We'll also obviously study that. And then we've done that for many of our clients, and we've seen where we get at least a minimum of each click on the front end is duplicated and shared. So you get at least double the lowest we've seen, and as high as 12 times that. On some like one of our new URL shortener, it goes out to the landing page they're at. Not just that they're their page themselves, we can track that, except on the back end, and we see at least double, as we, but on average between five and six. So if you take five times 400, that's going to be 2,000 visits, and that was in three days. So that's pretty impressive. Um, we, you can see here, here's a campaign where we had built the site up using this mechanism, and then as the product placed, it came with a new website with our new services. You can see where we tapered off, but we built this website up to 22,000 visits uh, from, January, from January to June 2015, and then as we tapered that off, we brought up a new site and launched it uh, back in May to fill it up. We'll avoid with the product June and, it's, and from going from ground zero, ground zero down here in April, the website did not exist. The new website in May and then in June, and you can see we're already up to 1,500 visits there, uh, 14,000 hits. Here's a snapshot of a client. We won't say who it is, but it's a car dealer from a, one of the better known names in St. Louis. And you can see where the highlight for them, the highlight for them was taking their existing traffic and then almost doubling it here. So for what you can see here, total overall sessions, one, two thirds of the piece, but for new sessions, new users, almost a 100% increase. Month to month, that was month one. Then. So to double their traffic for new visitors, to be up 97% going to 1,106 visits from 500 is a pretty substantial. Uh, increase, especially considering what the average cost per click to pay for these clicks is through Google, averaging around two to three dollars. I'll do the math, but 500 clicks, two or three dollars, you're anywhere from a thousand to three hundred dollars to get the same amount of traffic. But more tracking we can do, you can see where we actually answer how many calls we got from our work, uh, that how many calls we received. This is all done through tracking. That's very easy. It's something that a lot of companies are doing now, but. A hundred calls in three days, you know, one more keyword, more calls that can come from Google search, and from Facebook, and from Yelp, it'll track all, it'll tell you where your sources are coming from. Another example, this is just in two weeks, 32 calls that we generated for a new campaign. And then for over 31 business days, um, for this client, we generated 97 calls. Hey, you know, you ought to be charging at least $15 a call. Well, obviously, fifteen dollars a call. We will charge a little more than what we do if you see our pricing that's on our website. Here's an example of the activity log, and these posts are coming out continually. And so you see a snapshot of what you do on the back end, on the front end. And 
have any other post that you'd be familiar with, somebody as if they have that and post it themselves, it has a link to go where you would like it to go. Here's some examples of the groups that we've targeted, just a snapshot here, but many people in the St. Louis area are familiar with these. Uh, the Lake St. Louis has 5,881 members. Uh, the, the Hill St. Louis, 7,030 members. Lake St. Louis by trade cell, 5,800. South Carolina trade cell, 14,000. And St. Louis by trade cell, uh, 1,284. Uh, so target the, the demographic that you want to target. Here you can see the campaigns that have run that are stopped and campaigns that are active. A snapshot, here we have 4,500 posts that we made, 8,800 posts that were made, 6,000 posts that were made, 3,800, 1,200, and some of these are just getting started. But that's a lot of posting to do manually. This is where our process is. A couple things that are unique. There's no service. You can use some of your other uh, resources and, and applications, but they get logged differently and they get flagged differently. So we can make sure that doesn't happen uh, because you want to stay within the guidelines and make sure you do it the proper way. Here's a final slide. I'm going to jump over and show you a quick research I did for Rotary to uh, get some, some research results, search results for Target. We'll flip over to Target or a live server to do that. I've got the spreadsheet that I exported with the results based on what I searched for. But you can see here we have we have two packages right now. It's five hundred dollars for groups, four ninety nine and eight ninety nine. And if more than double the amount of traffic, generally, according to our statutes, you double traffic that doesn't cost double the price. Pick your favor, we'll start you at the $4.99 upgrade. If some people want to get more traffic right away, we know how to get that, we know how to post this stuff effectively and get you those kinds of results. So let me jump over real quickly. I'm going to do this through my micro keyboard here. And it looks like, yeah, it's a different screen. I have to pull over. Let me pull that out. And here is the Facebook groups. And here it is. You can see what we've targeted here. Targeted here. So you can see what we've targeted here. And for this particular campaign, they want to get this out within their community. So we did a search using keywords: Baldwin, Ellisville, Manchester, Missouri, because there's a lot of Manchester stuff we found around the world. Manchester United, a lot of stuff in the United Kingdom. So we can kind of differentiate that, but including it in both of them to show up. Uh, Eureka, Chesterfield, Wildwood, the Duke, Clayton, the County Country, Creefield, and Bypass, and Kirkwood. And out of those, I told us, notice we didn't have St. Louis in there. Uh, we just those local townships in the St. Louis area. But in return, all of these different groups that you can see here, by Trade and Sell, Chesterfield, Town and Country, uh, St. Louis areas. And as you can tell here, and this list goes down. There are 738 groups that it found, most all of which are relevant to what we're trying to accomplish here. So, oops, let me escape that. We didn't want to change anything there. There we go. But you can see that I've added these up on our spreadsheet, and it's, it is a total of 738 groups that it found. It took about 15 minutes to find these groups. We can automatically start to add ourselves to these groups. Um, and but those groups total two thousand two million members. A lot of people in there duplicate times because they're in multiple groups. But that's as if they're watching you know, the same channel at one point and a different channel at another. They're in a different group. They see that they have relative interest there. And you got to get your message in front of people consistently. And that's why people advertise on both channel two, channel four, channel five, uh, and, and all of those, uh, as well as radio and all the others historically. Here though, we can track everything, and you get a much broader base. It doesn't cost me as much to do that. Uh, with, with this type of advertising, but and you can see that it's an average of 2,754 users per group, and these are very strictly targeted to what they're trying to accomplish. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate your time. Uh, iWebProfit.com is our main website, the core website with all of this other information. If you want to get started there, check it out. Um, you can go iWebProfit.com slash start and get going. Uh, my name is Carter Rethwish. I'm the, I'm the founder and uh, president of the company, and we would love to help your small business get going uh, right away. The sooner you get started, obviously, the sooner we can start helping you, and uh, we love to do that because that's my passion, helping small business. Um, coming from a family that's been involved with small business and education all my life. All right, thanks. Appreciate it.